Hi friends, my name is Kate. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello. I make cozy gaming videos and lifestyle videos. Today's video is so exciting because I'm going to be sharing with you nine cozy Switch games that are under $20. So I love a cozy budget friendly game. Let's be honest, we all do. And I wanted to keep all of these games under $20 just because I feel like those to me are affordable games. I just want to say before we get into this video, be sure to subscribe if you're not already as it, the support really, really helps out my channel and my next subscriber goal is 10K. Thank you. So in this video, I won't be talking about Stardew Valley, although that is a great budget friendly Switch game. We will be talking about different games. <laughs> So the first game I am going to talk about is the game Unpacking, and Unpacking retails for $19.99, but usually you can find it on sale. I actually bought that game for $13.99 on sale. Unpacking is the coziest games of all cozy games. I can't even... I can't even lie to you, I absolutely love that game. You quite literally get to unpack someone's belongings while they're in different stages of their life. And while you're unpacking, you'll discover different things about the character and lots of unpacking lore. In this game, you'll get to unpack eight different moves. So it starts out in the character's childhood bedroom and then goes to a dorm room, etc, etc, etc. I don't want to spoil the game, but yeah, you'll get to discover new things about that character and really it is such a fun cozy game. Ooh, okay, a diary. You know I would be putting my diary like underneath my pillow. Oh my god, can I do that? That's where I, that's probably where I kept mine as a child. This game is so, so cozy and so cute. And I also want to talk about how this game is so budget friendly. The next game I'm going to talk about is a game called Calico. And I actually found this game by looking through the Nintendo eShop. So this game retails for $11.99. And y'all, the art style, I cannot get over how beautiful it is. In this game, you're literally running a cat cafe! <laughs> You'll be in charge of reviving the town's cat cafe and decorating it with cute furniture and also filling it up with cuddly kittens. Can I just talk about how my dream is to literally own a cat cafe? Like that is like my ultimate dream in life. That's something that I really am passionate and want to do. So this game, I will 100% be buying and playing. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see me play it because it looks so stunning and so gorgeous. The third game I'm going to talk about is Bear and Breakfast. So in this game, you actually play as a little bear and you literally run a bed and breakfast. <laughs> like how cute and cozy is that? Um, I've seen a lot of people play this game. I have not played it yet for myself, but I've heard really good reviews about it, especially on the Switch too. Um, but yeah, so it retails for $19, but it's usually on sale. I think last time I saw it, it was on sale for like $14.99 or something. So in this game, you get to decorate the different rooms and you get to meet different characters and you also get to like have quest with them and there's different storylines. It seems overall like a fun game and I'm going to link the trailer, well, probably the trailer of all of these games in the description of this video. The next game we are talking about is Witchwood. So this game I have actually bought. I have not played it yet. It's on my list of games I want to play. So this game retails for $19.99 and it is a crafting adventure game. Play as an old witch in this gothic style fairy tale cottage core, forest core, everything core town. <laughs> Really, really love the art style of this game. It's very like witchy and gothic and fairy-esque and it just looks really, really cute and cozy and fun. I feel like the art details are so, so, so detailed and it's just so stunning. The next game we're gonna talk about is Kirby's Dream Buffet and this can actually be a multiplayer game. This game retails for $14.99 and I found this game by looking on the Nintendo shop and oh my god, do I want to buy this for the next time my friends come over. So first off, let's talk about how cute and adorable it is. Anything with Kirby, automatic buy. <laughs> it's giving very much like Super Monkey Ball vibes, and I was obsessed with that game 10 years ago. <laughs> so you're racing down different courses that are made of sweet treats and desserts. Ah! 
I have such a sweet tooth. So this game, every time I look at it, I'm like, oh my God, it makes me so hungry. <laughs> but yeah, this game definitely looks like a fun party game to try to beat your friends in. <laughs> Cozy Grove. So this game actually retails for $20, but I did find it on sale for $9. So sometimes this game does go on sale. This is a life simulation game. And in this game, you're camping on a haunted island. So you'll be exploring the island life and meeting different ghosts along the way. <laughs> As you progress in this game, you bring this game back to life, literally. Like the color of the game gets more vibrant and colorful the more that you play and bring life into the game. So what I find really interesting about this game is it's actually synced to real life time. And they say that every single day, there's 30 to 60 minutes of new content. And I personally find that really interesting and really perfect for if you work a nine to five and you wanna play a cozy game after, but you don't wanna spend two hours decorating your Animal Crossing Island, this seems like a good like, let me do my 30 minute quest and I'm done until tomorrow. This is definitely a relaxing game that I could see myself personally playing after my nine to five. Also, side note, there's like this little flame character guy and he looks like Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle. So I definitely want to purchase this game, especially while it's on sale because $9 is a steal. The next game that I'm going to be talking about is called A Short Hike and this game retails for $7.99. So this is an adventure game where you hike and soar through the mountain landscapes. This game looks so freaking cozy. I could totally see myself playing this at the airport or just literally any anywhere, like after work, just like trying to relax. In this game, you can definitely go at your own pace and along the way, you'll meet different hikers and complete different quests and achievements, such as finding 10 golden feathers. Honestly, for me, the graphics are giving nostalgia. They're giving DS Lite game. I will 100% be buying this game no matter what because I love the graphics so much. As you guys can tell, I'm very heavy on the graphics. Um, If I don't like the graphics of a game, I can't play it. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but it's just the honest truth about how I am. <laughs> the last game and game number nine that we're going to be talking about is Cattails. So this game retails for $14.99. I bought it last year. I think it was $2.99 at the time. And this is an RPG simulation game where you play as a cat. So you get to explore the world as a cat and you get to meet other cats and you get to forage for food and fight other cats if you have to. You can even become friends with them and date them and even marry them if you want to. The art style of this game is so cute. It's very pixelated. It reminds me just like Stardew Valley, but I did play this game and I did film it like a few months ago. If this is something you guys might be interested in watching, <laughs> leave a comment down below and I'll totally edit and upload the video. I'm gonna be like this blue gray color. My name is Kate and I have green eyes. Oh my god, wait, how sweet. We're at like a shelter. So sweet. She loves the cat. Oh, it's eating. Look, it's got toys. It's got a bed. It's got a nice home. Aw. <gasps> what happened? Um. Absolutely not. That's terrible. No. No, no, no. I'm actually going to start crying because that was very, very sad. Um, and it's raining and I'm all alone. That's so sad. That was disgusting. I can't believe people do that. You don't look like you're from around here because I'm not. I was just stranded. I'm Coco, by the way. Hi, Coco. But that is all for today's video. If you guys like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I absolutely loved researching and finding out budget-friendly games, especially because I was able to find some games that I've never heard of that I totally want to buy now. Also, let me know if you want a more in-detailed review of the game. Um, I think I'm going to be uploading a video review of unpacking and just talking about if it's worth it or not. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!